Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to the channel. What's your seven day or seven night? Drop your comment down below. Today's a cool video. I'm doing a fragrance haul video. You guys like these videos, so I buy a bunch of fragrances and I give you my first impression on them, share your presentation. I will have full reviews on these fragrances very soon. What fragrance have you bought this month of August? Drop your comments down below. So I did go to Macy's, like I told you guys, picked up some fragrances. So this video here, I'm gonna unbox them, kind of give you a first impression, but you guys probably already know about these fragrances. But if not, let's go. So three fragrances I bought. The first one I'm gonna go over is Spice Bomb by Victor and Ross. This was 15% off at Macy's, so I got it for 119 instead of 140 bucks. 90 ml bottle, this is the box presentation. So full boxes from, you know, Victor and Ross. Opens up like this. Okay, simple box, nice texture here, spice bomb, dark leather, opens up, has the Victor and Ross logo up top, it's hard to see, here we go, inside has your sticker, you can scan it with your phone, here we go, simple box, put this to the side, this is your presentation of the bottle, which is really cool, Nothing up top. Bottom is nice. I like the black on black gradient. A nice matte black. Here's your sprayer. Now let's spray this fragrance. I do have a first impression of this fragrance. I'll leave it down in the car if you want to hear about it, but you'll hear it again in this video here. A little lock mechanism. Take it off. Sprayers are really good. All right. So this one's been getting a lot of hate. Not really a lot of positive love. So I'll post notes on the screen real quick so you guys can see a note breakdown. Okay, so this opens up, you get a nice bit of fresh greenness in the opening. Some frankincense, some spices, some black pepper. You're getting some nice nutmeg as well. There is some cinnamon in this fragrance as well, but it's not a heavy cinnamon, but there's a nice bit of cinnamon. But it's a nice leathery scent. It's not a heavy other fragrance. It's definitely more of a light leather fragrance that you can wear pretty much any time. Like this isn't a heavy Spice Bomb fragrance like Spice Bomb Extreme, Spice Bomb Infrared, EDT, or the EDP. This is more on the subtle, lighter side of a, a spicy fragrance. And I really like it. I wish it was a little bit heavier, a little bit more of a kick, but it's nice, it's subtle. You can wear this anywhere, work. You can wear it casually, even date night. But if your significant partner doesn't like leather fragrances, they may not like this. But there's definitely some creamy touches to it, the nutmeg. And there's definitely some tobacco in the dry down. And it's really a nice fragrance. I really like this one, guys. I know a lot of people say they don't like it. I really like this one a lot, guys. I'm happy I bought a full bottle of it. It's fire. I got it on sale. But I apparently do have a 50 mil as well, which I didn't even know about. But if they had 50 mil, I would have bought that instead. Because I have so many fragrances, guys. But this is an amazing fragrance. I really like this one a lot. I definitely have a full review coming soon. Definitely check out Spice Bomb. This is Victor & Ross Dark Leather. The next fragrance to talk about is from the house of Christian Dior. You guys know me, I'm a Dior fanboy, so it is what it is. Fragrance get a lot of love and hate. And it's only been out for a couple weeks now. It's Dior Sauvage, it's just O Fort. Somebody says O Forte, it's pronounced O Fort. So this is getting a lot of love and hate in the community. Frag, commentary, and fragrances, whatever. So this bottle here is a 60 ml bottle, and they do have a 100 ml bottle. I got this for $136. At Macy's, they had a sale, it goes for 160 So I saved like 30 something bucks. This is the box and stuff. Let's open it up. So this is supposed to be like the alcohol free water-based scent. I know some people don't like the fact that they did this. He does amazing fragrances for MFK as well, his own brand. But Francis Kirchhoff, it is what it is, but here we go. Opens like all the other Dior Sauvage fragrances. Only difference is the bottle size. And yeah, this is your Sauvage O Fort. See the Christian Dior. The funny looking milk or come on the bottom. I get it. Now I've already tested this out before I did the first impression with Kelly. She says she does like it. She does it does smell different than any other line of your Sauvage, which is a good thing. I wish they would just made a different name than your Sauvage. I get it. It's money, marketing is what it is. So here's a test strip. Magnetic cap. As always, sprayers are good. 
really amazing sprayers funny looking milk is what it is right okay let's post notes on the screen real quick okay so alamine the resins in the opening cold spices just spices you're getting some lavender and some freshness in the middle of the fragrance you're getting some woodiness and muskiness in the dry down I've worn this fragrance several times because I tried out the mall. It's definitely a different take on a Dior Sauvage fragrance, right? This does have a freshness about it where it can be worn all year round. The only part of the fragrance I'm not really the biggest fan of is the opening kind of resonance. It's it's okay. Once you get past that, it's nice, more uh, fresh, lavender, clean, watery. And the subscriber of mine said so kind of get like that barbershop fougere vibe with the lavender and I can get that vibe. It's definitely more of a lavender fragrance, right? But it's not a heavy lavender where it's gonna choke you out. It's a nice subtle fragrance that you can wear any time of year. Now it is close to the skin. It's not a heavy projection fragrance. This is one where I said in my first impression, I can smell it around me like a scent bubble, but it doesn't reach out. It's not beast mode in your face like the other, your Sauvage Elixir, your Sauvage EDT, um, your Sauvage EDP, so on and so forth. This is more on the lighter side it does have great longevity, which I said in my first impression. It got me well over eight hours. Everybody's skin chemistry different. You might get six, seven, five, but it doesn't go away after like an hour. It's still on your skin. You just got to give it some time. You have to wear it throughout the day and see how it works with your skin chemistry. I really like this one, guys. Definitely a nice laid back fragrance you can wear dressed up or dressed down. This for somebody that doesn't want to have those heavy fragrances, but want to smell nice, but they don't want to announce themselves with a fragrance. They want to be known by who they are as a person, give somebody a handshake, a hug, you talk to them, then they smell you, oh, you smell really good today. That's the type of fragrance this is. And it's gonna get the job done. Will this be a, the best Dior Sauvage uh, ever? I don't think so. It'll be a nice um, collector's item if they ever discontinue this down the road because some people just don't like it with the whole milky thing, but it's a phenomenal fragrance. I really do like it. I will have a full review coming on this very soon on the channel, but definitely check out Dior Sauvage. This is 04. Okay guys, now we're talking about the last fragrance that I purchased from Macy's. This one here is another new release from the house of Chanel. It's getting a lot of hype in the community, getting a lot of love and hate for the performance, but that's the story for another day. This is the new Chanel Alorma Sport. This is Super Ligaria. So it's supposed to be a limited edition, apparently when it's gone, it's gone. I wouldn't say that's the true thing. I feel like if this does very well, they're gonna keep it out there more often, but they wanna make it limited edition where like, hey, when it's gone, it's gone. Just be careful with that because some companies say that and they relaunch it and keep it on the website only or at the Chanel boutique. So just be careful. But if you really like the scent, just buy it. This is $172 for a 100 ml bottle. Presentation like all the other Chanel's. I got mine for about 156 because they had 50% off. At the store, Macy's, your sales associate, if she's kind of, she'll probably give you 50% off on Chanel. They don't do it on the website, but at the store, they do knock off 15%. Just keep that in mind so you have to drive to a Macy's store. Okay. Open it up. So, are you guys excited about the new Chanel Lorem Sport Super League area? Drop your comments down below. All right, it's up like all the other Chanel's. Red inside. Opens up the bottle here. Beautiful bottle presentation. We say about all the Chanel fragrances. And the cap, same as always. My batch code is, is 0320, if you guys can see that. All right. So before I spray it, let's post notes on the screen. Okay, let's give it a spray. Cap is nice and snug, nice fit, snaps into place. Not a magnetic cap, which I wish Chanel did magnetic caps like Dior, but nevertheless. Okay. Oh man, so this opens up very refreshing, right? You're getting a lot of citruses, there's mandarin, there's grapefruit in the opener, definitely some woodiness. There's some amber touches, a slight bit of patchouli, and some musky and saleness in the dry down. So this one is definitely a refreshing fragrance, right? It is light, super ligaria, actually in Italian, actually means super light. So it's a light fragrance, right? But it does have a nice bit of projection. At first, I would say 45 minutes to an hour from the first time I tested at the mall at Nordstrom, 
I could smell it on me. It smelled awesome. I came home. Kelly liked it as well, which you guys seen that first impression video. If you haven't, I'll leave it at the end of the card. She liked it. She liked this more, a little bit more than your Sauvage 04. It is what it is. More on the fresher side, which is crazy because she's not, she smells so many fresh fragrances, but she really did like this one. And it's mass appealing. Now, if you take this or Dior Sauvage 04, I would probably say 90% of people will like this over Dior Sauvage 04 because that opening with the Elamina resins, not everybody's cup of tea. Once you get past that, they're going to be good fragrances. They're both going to be neck to neck, hard to pick which one you like, but off first impression, this is phenomenal. Fresh, clean, in your face, citrusy. This is great for your spring and summertime. It'd be a great signature scent for a gentleman or a young person about to turn 18, 19, entering college. It's fresh, it's clean. You can wear something like this date night, casual, business, formal. Not a wrong time when to wear this. It's a spray and go fragrance. You can wear it to the gym. Expensive gym set, but you can wear it, guys. It's just a great fragrance, and I hope it isn't limited edition because everybody will be probably buying back a bottle so they don't lose out on it. And I wouldn't be shocked if it sells very well and they sell out, they relaunch it again and keep it in the Chanel website where you can, you can buy it on the Chanel website or on the on their store or at their store. That's it. It's a phenomenal fresh fragrance that anybody can wear. I highly recommend this, but it's not a beast mode scent. So if you want a beast mode, I would go with the regular Chanel Allurome Sport, the original Chanel um, Allurome, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with this one. But if you want a subtle, fresh and clean fragrance that has a nice slightly projection, and people get close to you smell it, this is gonna be phenomenal for your spring and summertime, or you can wear it all year round if you're gonna be indoors. Definitely check out Chanel Laurent Sport. This is super legaria. Okay guys, before the video ends, what fragrance are you guys gonna buy? Are you gonna buy the new Dior Sauvage Eau Fort? Are you gonna buy the new Spice Bomb Dark Leather? Or are you gonna buy the new Chanel Laurent Sport Super Legaria? Drop your comments down below. What fragrance do you guys want me to review first? The Chanel? the new Dior or the new Spice Bomb Dark Leather. Drop your comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please show support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Be safe everyone. I'll see you in the video very soon. Peace.